Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in the middle. I should have taxed them, buddy. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. around that's weird Officer, you need help? Uh, stay back, sir. I got this. Uh, uh, hey! Uh, So, thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. They'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Clear. Clear Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore.
Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. to be someone here. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. I'll get you out! Please! Come here, help me! I got you. Give me your other hand! Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I couldn't... I couldn't... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon.
Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yes. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Claire! It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Hey, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. So it goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Branagh! Marvin! It's time to go. Hey, Marvin. <laughs> we need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. No! Look, we can still make it out of here together. You just can... It's too late. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go. I understand. I 
won't let you down, Marvin. Somebody's watching me. Damn. Need a key card. You gotta be kidding me. Get off of me! Stay sharp. Lower it. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. Unless, of course, Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, come on, don't be an asshole. Hey, you need this! Just get me the fuck out of here! Oh my god. Who is that? It's just me. So you can put that thing away. I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon, before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. Uh. Huh?
that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship Umbrella set up. <laughs> Come on, that, that, nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G-Virus. Where did you hear about this? And a big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are yeah. you going to talk to me? Or are you going to... This interview is over. <laughs> Twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. said don't move i'm just passing through i'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon i kill you are you're gonna turn around and go right back out the way you came in i think your daughter needs help sir don't tell me how to deal with my daughter drop it no wait step aside we need to terminate her before she turns terminate Fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Yeah, daddy's here. Okay. Those fucking things outside. they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna... Put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there.
chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Definitely won't to work. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Uh. I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of Annette. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. Ada? Damn it. I don't like the sound of that. Ada. Please. Oh, please, stop. No, 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 no. there for a sec. I can't get it out. I, I don't know if I should die. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. 
It's gonna hurt. Hold on. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? So, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared, ladies. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon, trust me? You trust me? <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. I, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Nita, you said it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. Look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm going to finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just going to leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through, and I want to see you again. I got plenty to live for, trust me. Now, arriving at Nest. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Leon, I'm counting on you. I know. Good eyes on the G virus. I think I didn't know you were coming. This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. Target resisted. We had to take him out. 
That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. Huh. That was easy. All right. Now back to Ada. <laughs> this thing William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. You're Umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended you can this can spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. That's bullshit. <gasps> I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Be very
verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. <sighs> oh, Leon. <sighs> Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. And you shoot me. But I don't think you can. yourself, Leon. No! Detonation. What's that? Claire! Leon? You're down here too! Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it.
I can't believe I actually miss her. Like I said, we would. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious yesterday. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Our region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. days, then I can kiss this town goodbye.
Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! <sighs> I know, but right now it's got a hard-on for the only two stars left in town, you and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How did this all happen so fast? <clears throat> I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids.
work, damn it! It's my turn, bitch! Easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? James Carlos. And I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen. I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, we're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's 
cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. train moving. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Can you UBC us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. No, 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 wait, please! No! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. All stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai! How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for her. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No! Can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back.
Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. <sighs> Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Shit, Jill. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah, all right's a stretch. Sorry I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. Well, look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. Get out of here. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Hey, you'll be safe. What about you? Uh, from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? 
funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> How is this fucker not dead yet? Just no, they're gone. Come, this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Get off my train, shit bird! Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <sighs> All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. I got this fucker. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. <sighs> what the hell was that thing? Couldn't have been a zombie. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, I'm negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? 
Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! You've done me a big favor, miss. Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Barr can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you.
This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... I got you all along. And she trusted me anyway. Is it here? All right, Joe. Hang tight. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry points the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bozy motherfucker. Chill. Oh, thank 
God, you okay? I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Sunshine? You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? I'm an underground. Borrowed stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Jill. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if. We can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This.
Bill, I don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. Hmm. I don't think the wisdom <laughs> I've been trying to impart on you is getting true. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat out. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good! Done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You, Print Mum. I like them. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! This would be worth millions. But, well, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Jill! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Good riddance. Oh no. 
You're not going to stop. I promised you this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. Ah! The missile has launched. And there is my key. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. It's you! Shoot him! I can't! I'll hit you! Do it! You have to! There's no other way! Carlos! Hey, I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them once and for all. <laughs>